What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Fantastic Duo Show. I'm here, flanked by again, my boy, the one and only, Mr. Steve, Red Ranger Cardenas. I gotta, I gotta amp it up, bro, because you know tomorrow you is Power one and Ranger only. Day. Power Ranger one, Day, bro. Yeah, you say one and only. I'm like, I, I think there's another Steve Cardenas out there, and he's actually famous too. He's like a famous musician, and everybody thinks that I'm. I'm that musician. It's kind of funny. Well, you can play <laughs> off of it. It's cool. I mean, like, yeah, well, you whatever. should. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is, man. Well, anyways, welcome everyone in the Twitch verse, the Twitch universe. Uh, thank you guys for joining the chat. And uh, yeah, feel free to ask questions because um, you'll probably want to ask a lot of questions of our guest because uh, he's uh, definitely got a lot of great stories. So uh, we're going to uh, reminisce a little bit. So join us uh, here on this episode of the Fantastic Duo Show. And uh, let me uh, introduce our good friend um well actually my good friend um alex is meeting him for the first time today but uh i've known this guy for over 25 years uh and uh he um was kind of instrumental in like you know him and uh, his co-star were very instrumental in helping me with my acting abilities and stuff on the show so uh these guys were always so awesome about that uh but let's no further uh, dudes uh let's go ahead and introduce my man jason narvi aka eugene skulovich what is up my brother what is hello up, guys? hey good to see you a round of applause uh, welcome him in welcome him in what's up hey, buddy you. I don't deserve it. I really don't. I mean, I don't. Oh, you do deserve it. Oh, you man. do You're deserve it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I deserve a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so how so, are you, yeah. man? How's it going out there? Oh, it's great. Yeah, out here. I'm here in Chicago, Illinois. Well, as you know, is uh, is the New York of the Midwest, which people in Chicago <laughs> would not want to hear. <laughs> That's amazing. They would not want to hear that. But I figured out Gary, Indiana is the New Jersey of Chicago. <laughs> is it the New Jersey of Chicago? <laughs> I don't know how they feel about that right now, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, man, I'm 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 really excited. You know, again, I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Steve's. I'm a fan of everyone that he knows. And I mean, this mm -hmm. is pretty surreal for me to have you on here. Um, just want to say that the chat room is already going crazy because we're live on Twitch. So we have a chat room, oh, nice. and they're they're kind yeah. of like um, extremely happy to see you on here. They're saying that they miss you and all this stuff. So. Well, oh. I miss them too. All of them. I used to hang out with all of them. I, I would sneak into their <laughs> houses. I, well, we won't go to it. Paulie had a joke for you guys, though. He okay. wanted you to know. I mean, this is. I mean, this is. You know, he just wanted to let you know that somewhere in Puerto Rico, someone has a roll of paper towels worth ten thousand dollars. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. Okay, it's a Schreierism. It's a <laughs> Schreierism. <laughs> Alex is Puerto Rican, so I think that's kind of funny that you brought that up. That's funny. Yeah, I know. I'm like thinking, wait a second, where are they? Because uh, you know, they might owe me money. I'm not sure yet. So, <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm I'm really excited. I know I know Stephen. You have a lot of stories, so I'm gonna like kind of like just let him ask stuff that you probably. I don't know if you have anything you want to talk about specifically, no, uh, Steve, or well, do you I want mean, me to jump in? Like I'm I'm you know well, you know no, how I mean, excited I, I get. You know what I'm of saying? Of course. No, I've got I've got <laughs> stuff we can ask him for sure. Um. So, uh, okay, so first off, you're in Chicago now. Yes. And yeah. and so just so everybody knows, in case they didn't know, which they probably do anyway. <laughs> where Chicago follows, is? Yeah, no, not where <laughs> Chicago <laughs> is. Where you <laughs> are specifically in Chicago. You're a, right. Yeah, <laughs> you're a professor at a university there, right? Yeah, at Concordia University, Chicago. Oh, yeah, wow. so we're, we're, yeah, we're at the end of the Green Line which is the L that goes straight west. Right. Uh, I'm in Elmwood Park, which has got a lot of good fellas, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> forget yeah, about it. Yeah, it's... Yeah, forget about it. I mean, okay, <laughs> so... Okay, uh, I don't know if I should go into this, but... Okay, so... Hey, there's I, only three I, people watching anyways. No, yeah, so what, who cares? Okay, there's no such thing as the mob. So at the end of the, of the 20s, or at the end of the uh, Capone era, you know, right. the mob is kicked out of Cicero. They get out of there, uh, and so they need to go to another unincorporated suburb. Mm. So Capone's old gang is around here, okay? Now, a yeah. buddy of mine, he said, you know, the strange thing, uh, we have a neighbor, we have, you know, in our neighborhood, we knew some guys, some good fellas, you know, Mm -hmm. And he, you know, a buddy of mine watched a soccer game with all these fellows. Okay. And he's like, you know, it wasn't quite so weird when they say stuff like, you know, they took me down a river. Oh, sorry. That's, that's a New York accent. They took <laughs> me down a river over there, you know, and they put me away for 25 years. Here's the thing. They didn't even know that if they really would have gotten me for what I was up there for, I should have been there for 35 or 40. Actually. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, that wasn't the weird part. The weird part was during the entire game. There was a young guy who was like 20. 
who didn't say anything to anybody, but watched that game like his life depended on it. And at the end of the game, he pulled out 25 cell phones, made one call from each, and then threw it away. That was the weird thing. <laughs> wow. Uh See, this is these, this is what we're here for. Chicago, to be completely honest, <laughs> it is, that's definitely Chicago. I definitely, and I know Cicero pretty well because I I've watched some wrestling matches over there, Cicero Stadium. So, um, oh yeah, Cicero. That I mean, that was it was notorious the world round. I mean, if you ever read um, the Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui by Bertolt Brecht, that you know, a famous German playwright, it takes place in Cicero, and it's about a basically a mobster. Who who's so crooked? He goes the only place a mobster could go, which is into politics, and basically <laughs> becomes this 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 sort of uh, um, Adolf Hitler character. Mm. Wow! Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, but Chicago's known for other things that it's not crime yeah, related. It's known for some deep you know, dish pizza and some wind. Yeah, right? deep yeah. dish pizza. If you're from New York, deep dish pizza is a crime. It is a crime. Okay, that is not a pizza. Okay, it's that a is pie. not a pizza. It's a pie. It's a pie. It's a it's tomato a pie. pie soup. It's a right. pie. It's a soup of stuff <laughs> masquerading as a pizza. Ain't right. that freaking pizza? Right. Pizza is like when it's thick, right? Yeah, dude. My God. I, okay, so I lived in New York for for a while, and you know, don't tell anyone I'm in Chicago who already hates me for you know outing the mob. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, New York pizza or bus? Like people in the Midwest, they 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 cut pizza check this out they cut pizza into squares yes right even though yes. the pizza is round you do that? Yeah, the pizza is round and they cut it into squares which on one hand good for them i mean that seems like it is against the laws of nature <laughs> and you know but why would you want an unnatural pizza i know it's you know, so true it, it makes no sense yeah it, dude it, it really doesn't by the way the, the chat's already asking uh making comments of like who knew that skull would grow up to be a professor <laughs> yeah i like to say there, there's there's some freud going on there that the stupidest character in the uh entire power ranger universe decides he has to go out and get a phd compensating much yeah you know oh that oh phd God. stands for pretty hammered diploma <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah narvi and i have had our share around the globe um, of drinking <laughs> together there is there is there is no more booze in the southern hemisphere thanks to us pretty you know, much well even in england lot. too yeah in oh, england that's we've, true. We did we've drank in england together we've drank in australia together <laughs> <laughs> you've gotten Man. drunk in many many places You're i was right. I, I was telling I, I told everybody the story before <laughs> um about when my cousin came to visit and, and we were sitting in the hot tub and you came and like <laughs> took all of our clothes you fucker <laughs> i was like well oh, for the record steve you're always highly overdressed for any occasion Okay. And I was worried that you would embarrass yourself by being further <laughs> overdressed around public. Yes. You know, I mean, so I just figured you left your clothes out there. There was right. way too many clothes out there. The last thing I wanted to see is you put those <laughs> on, walk around like you own a joint. I mean, you know, down in Australia, that's considered offensive to people. Oh, so man, I left you. you. The only thing you needed was two boots. Unfortunately, there happened to be six pairs of feet. Sorry, three <laughs> yeah. pairs of feet. There's six feet. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician in this. I thought I gave you all you needed, my friend. <laughs> oh man, does yeah. that keep it PG? Is this a PG show? No, no, no this no, is no. You can say you can say what you like. Yeah, it's you pretty can, funny. Yeah. I told the story already before, so the oh. guys, our three <laughs> listeners, were outraged. <laughs> well, I have now. to say this. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and one I of them is me, this, <laughs> and one of them is you. And I have to say this. I mean, Steve took it all in stride, like. Like she was like, yeah, I got kicked out of the, I got kicked out of my apartment. It's no big deal. I'm like, no big deal. You're homeless in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? No, well, they found me. They found me another apartment the next day, and it was better than the better than the one I was living in that we were living in. So, you know, it all worked out in the finish. Where did you? I forget. Where did you end up moving? Was that when you moved King's to Cross. Uh, King's Cross? Yeah. Ooh, King's Cross. <laughs> King's Damn. Cross essentially is like the red light district of Sydney. So, you know, oh essentially I was in heaven. <laughs> oh, my God. Talk about about inviting the fox into the hen house. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that saying. I'm stealing that, by oh, the way. Oh, <laughs> man. It was uh, – we definitely oh, – it was some crazy times over there. So let's talk, let's talk a little bit, like, I guess maybe jump into – 
just your origin story, if you will, or at least the, mm-hmm. the Power Ranger origin. Like, what were you? I mean, because we were all pretty young. I mean, you were like only about yeah. eighteen or nineteen when you first got started on that show. And yeah, uh, how you're... how did it come about? Because I believe in the original pilot, there was a different Skullovich, wasn't there? Yeah. So I think uh, uh, Polly could probably go into more detail, but the original bulk and skull basically they was <clears throat> they were there as as a plot device to show the power rangers could kick ass in school as well as yeah. in the intergalactic universe okay right, right so they use stunt people okay and i think one of the reasons paulie was cast actually is because he had been a stunt man for um uh who was he a stunt man for um there's a stunt double for louis um for some commercials for some sporting goods commercials right right okay and so um <clears throat> louis for louis anderson so yeah, louis got, anderson right Ooh, yeah okay. and so the original skull was a stunt man named bobby i don't know bobby's last name and bobby yeah. he was a he was a tall dude and he was menacing he had kind of a you know lazy yeah. eye kind of looking thing um and so then the power rangers you know they get attacked by paul and sorry by by punks one two and three i think <laughs> yeah. and paulie was punk number three and right. skull was punk number one Right. Um, so once they sold the show, um, uh, they figured out that that uh, Pauly was a better actor than Bobby because Bobby was just a stunt guy, you know. Right. Yeah. Um, and more importantly, they they decided they wanted the violence to be funny and not scary. Right. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So they made Bulk and Skull a little bit funnier, but Bulk and Skull were still only in about uh, four or five episodes. Okay. Um, Rich Janelli was making more money than Paulie and I by about 50, <laughs> $50 a week. Wow. <laughs> Ernie bucks. was making more money. Go figure. Yeah. 50 bucks more. <laughs> so <laughs> what happened with, with Bobby is, uh, and, and one of the other reasons that Paulie, I think got that is that during the pilot, he really hit it off with Tony Oliver. And right. for those of you who, who know Tony, he was an early uh, produ- producer for the show and writer um, and then he got a more and more influential. But it, since he was there in the early stages, he really helped mold the characters. Tony was really good yeah. with characters, you know. Yeah, we were um, talking about Tony last uh, on the last episode because we had Kerrigan and Barbara Goodson oh, yeah. and uh, and and uh, David Fielding on there. So you know, all of us have had you know, you know really good connections with him. But yeah, so uh, oh yeah, so we, he, I mean, he's a great actor. He was he was yeah. a known voice actor when we started. He was famous for. Um, well, several things, but Robotech was the yeah, one that Robotech, we were all like, oh, yeah. my God, he's Ro- wow. Rick Hunter from Robotech. <clears throat> um, so we did the uh, – what? Uh, so he he made uh, – he flip-flopped uh, Pauly and made him Bully 1, named right. him Bulk. Uh, Bobby became Bully 2, and then about three days before the show was actually going to start shooting the series, they – Oh, no. Him. Oh, no. Yeah. You have got to be effing kidding oh, me. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, 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 guys. Wow. So for those of you who are just <laughs> tuning in, hold on, I gotta just tuned in right now. We're gonna have to like adjust uh, everything. Yeah. I'll 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 adjust it for everyone. <laughs> Ladies and, and gentlemen. Man. The My yellow, yellow the yellow ranger <laughs> from Hyperforce. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, wow, what a treat. Uh, we weren't sure this was going to happen, so we didn't announce it. But, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my acting coach, Paul Schreier. <laughs> Listen, yeah. if you want to live, get into the Astro Mega Ship. Don't ask any questions. It <laughs> does it, does it, it does uh, the Astro Mega Ship way. have free candy? <laughs> no, but it's made of Legos. That's oh, official. my God. <laughs> I love it. No, actually, it's so cool that he's sideways like that. Let's leave him like that. <laughs> Am I sideways? Yes, turn it, turn it. Turn you turn it, it sideways. Oh, turn it. Hold on a second. Turn your bubble. <laughs> turn your cage. No, there, there we go. Oh, yeah. All right. I think we got him. Oh, right, wow, get, get, look you, at you, man. You guys hang what? in there. You guys continue with your it. stories while I put them in the show. Oh, okay, yeah, we're putting him in the shot. He's got we gotta adjust his screen a little bit because we're only seeing like a half a half a, a half row right now at half the moment. Row. Well, Narby, how about keep going into that and then Paul can jump in on this. Oh too, yeah, 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 because, yeah. Uh, so, we were just talking about how how your characters were getting introduced into into the pilot. Yeah, so they uh, so this is the first episode of the series. Um, uh, it was a Wednesday. I got an audition, you know. 
Um, and I went in there and they asked if I could, <laughs> the, the, the script surprise, surprise was not quite completed or perfect. Oh, right. So they of asked course. me to improvise the hell out of it. Um, and I did. And that was the first time I actually got, Hey, if we don't call you, you call us. So I did and they did. And the next day they put me together with Pauly. Oh, okay. On the, and, on the set. So and, the first time I saw did... Pauly was in the juice bar. He was wow. on the set. That's in so costume crazy. already. Actually, <laughs> in costume. Oh my God. Speaking of in costume. There we go, guys. Ladies going. and gentlemen, <laughs> in, in, the, in the shot now, we got everyone. In the flesh, in we the have flesh. Paul Schreier and Jason Narvey, Bulk and Skull, the tag team, the dynamic duo. We call ourselves the fantastic duo, but these guys are truly the fantastic duo. Is that a cowboy hat? It looks like a little cowboy hat, Polly. Look at it. Put it on. This, put it on. He, Who's yeah, this? Put it, it on. Looks. His hyperforce helmet I'm, is. I'm, a... I'm Jack Dealgood. Tom is the Yellow Power Ranger. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got a he's got a Tony Clifton thing going right now. <laughs> the sixties. The sixties <laughs> so, were so not so, him. Yes, they were not. Look at that. Wow, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. I can't even concentrate right now. So, so the, you guys are seeing each other for the first time. You're meeting for mm -hmm. the first time. Where did Hating. this? Dating yeah. for the first time. Dating where, for the first time. Yeah. Where did this like this chemistry come from? Was it was it was it automatic or or was it something that you guys decided like you were gonna like work on or or how how did it come about? Sheer dumb luck. I mean, look, man, we we had similar backgrounds. We had both done theater. You know, Polly was still doing theater at the time. Yeah. Uh, even though I was in acting school, <laughs> rolling. He is rolling right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> His head I like love it. Microphone. This is so priceless, man. I it just really cannot is. even. This this is gold right now. But people so in we the just started. Yeah, go ahead. Just like this. This is what we we just started screwing around. That's it. We and we rehearsed, 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 and we took that pulp of a script and coaxed it into a fine parchment. That's go, amazing. We, we screwed around for about two hours until the suits started watching us. Oh, well, I mean, the suits obviously liked what they saw because you guys became a staple in the show, you know, at that point. Like, you guys were essentially the comic relief, and it, the show needed so, it. <laughs> well, now that, that was it, is that we, we knew we were expendable. <laughs> oh, so, right. in order to keep our phony baloney jobs, we worked our asses off, you know. Yeah, and no we, kidding. Anytime they gave us a little bit, we took a lot. Oh, yeah, you I know. know. But I have it, a little nibble on it. I don't know. You yeah, know. well, that was that was the gold, though, right? I mean, and Alex, Alex is a big fan, so he he would he would oh. agree with me on that, you know. But it's like this: that a mule? all of your ad lib and all your improvisation is the is what made, you know, which is what made Bogan Skull, because none of that stuff was ever really in the script, right? Yeah, no. Sometimes, so, so sometimes, sometimes, yeah. sometimes. sometimes, you know, and they would they would let us kind of expand upon it, and they would kind of rely upon us to expand upon whatever the hell they put there. You know, so they put a little, you know, a bulk and skull enter wacky, you know, and like, okay, how do we be wacky on this one? <laughs> right. You know, we would come up with a different entrance every single damn time. You know, we're going to come up this way. Let's come on this way. And there was some, some directors like Terry, Terry was really good at, at like creating shtick for bulk and skull. You know? Right. Bob, Bob as well. Bob was a real big bulk and skull fan. Although bulk, he would sometimes be like, okay. You know Charlie Brown? We're like, it's a cartoon. He's like, that's what I want. I want a cartoon. And everyone's gonna laugh. He should have just got out there and went, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Do you want Charlie Brown? <laughs> okay. That's all we heard. Anyone else speaks that bullshit, 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 bullshit. Our speech. Bullshit, bullshit. Our <laughs> Polly, <Pauly, laughs> man, how you doing, brother? I haven't feel like I haven't seen you in a while or talked to you in a while. Listen, that... th th this is a little bit hard to talk about, but <laughs> but I'm actually from the future, Steve. Oh, okay. Is it and, future future Polly or is it someone in Polly's well, form? Uh, as my colleagues looked at the timeline, they realized that everything really went to shit after this moment. <laughs> <laughs> and so they sent me back. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Simply as a impartial observer. Jason. Yo. Did you tell him the thing? I told him the thing. All right. So. Guess can I'm we get some clarity on that? I'm proud to announce that I have it. <laughs> oh, you got oh, the Puerto, the Puerto Rican toilet roll. No, oh, I have it. Okay, I have it now. 
I've used a few sheets, but I figure it's like spending money. So, but the signature was really easy to duplicate, so I did. This right now, this is crazy. Oh, hold on man. a second. Oh my God, I just made ten thousand dollars. <laughs> you probably have, will get people that will buy it for sure. Yeah, you're a hundred percent. That's that's a historic roll of paper towels, gentlemen. This is real. <laughs> I'm not. Is I'm it. not messing around. I, this is real. This What's is not this to is like believe. What's not to believe? A guy <laughs> declares he's from the future. His signature is going to be worth ten thousand dollars. What's not to believe? Yeah. I think the, the guy that was I, on this I, show. I, I already, I already, ma I already made all that money, Jason. That's how I got my hair trans thing. Oh, nice, oh, <laughs> nice, yeah. Wait, they paid you? They paid you for Power Rangers? Oh. <laughs> so they paid me in yellow wig hairs. That's what they paid me in. Oh man, <laughs> you know what? You know what's this... crazy is you guys. You guys were a staple of the show, man. You guys kept on popping up year after year. You know, after every single. Uh, different season or whatever after you want to call it. Every other ranger dropped yeah. off. Yeah, <laughs> after everyone dropped off, you guys were a constant uh, thing that people could always gravitate and go back to. Which is, I mean, how do you guys feel about that? That you know, you guys pretty much outlasted everyone. Ah, yeah, ah, <laughs> yeah. As a, as they say, I know. I... You know, Jason, uh, what's your attitude about driving a car? <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Know, with, 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 you you just drive it until it doesn't work anymore and as long uh, as it works right. you just keep driving it you know and then you abandon it in front of your aunt's house and you roll <laughs> True. so we kept working at power rangers till we didn't work anymore right understood right. got you Paulie's aunt's house yes right i say as i said what they say in fight club on a long enough timeline the survival rate for everyone is zero at least that's how it was for the rangers but you guys kept going <laughs> You guys were, uh, yeah, we were the cockroaches. I mean, let's face it, you know, <laughs> and you guys were like the lemmings, you know, the one, the only Red Ranger. And he went, well, hang on. Hang on. Hang yeah. On. <laughs> Alex, in the very first introduction, the one and only Red Ranger. And Steve's like, ah. yeah, yeah. Steve's like, yeah, no, no, no. That's Nick. so funny, man. 66 that out of here. Uh, man, so you guys have uh, you guys have been pretty busy. Like, what's going on with uh, – I mean, we'll start with Paulie real quick because he just kind of joined up, man. Uh, we sure. Were I've been busy. I've been busy tonight with Bruce and Courtney. Um, we are uh, launching a worldwide movement um, in the future. Of course, oh. you all haven't heard about it yet. But right. Courtney and Bruce and I are working on some things. Although network difficulties in the year – 2020. They're really kind of killing me, Larry. And I know your name's not Larry. What is your name, dude? Who are you, Matt? It's Alex. Man? Yeah, I'm Alex. just Alex, but Larry you Larry Fitz. Remember we Larry. in the 90s? <laughs> yeah. That's Jason Narvi right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> See, but I'm Alex, this is the stuff I was telling you, man. These guys, it's like it's like they're the same as they were back back what you see on the show. And the thing is, they live on like pretty much almost opposite coast, but every time they get together, it's like they pick up right where they left off, which I love. It, it's it well Paulie's my first wife. That's what we like to call oh. it. He's my first I remember we did it we did a play together and like the you know, the cast got me these, you know, I directed it, Paulie was in it, and you know, the cast got me these little cards like, thank you for everything. And Paulie got me this this picture that had a stork look at me like this. And it said, <laughs> To my wife. Oh my god. And I open it up and Paulie scratch at everything and went, fuck yeah. <laughs> that sounds like about that sounds like Paulie. So I, I remember when I first met you guys, because I, I mean I was watching the show and I was familiar with it. But when we first got hired, um, they had said to us, Hey, look, you don't have any acting experience. So um, we're gonna we're gonna introduce you to um, Paul Schreier. He plays Bulk on the show, and he's going to essentially kind of give you some acting lessons and help you help you out you know and i was like okay great yeah because i could use that but before i met Polly, i met narvi first and narvi said hey listen when you meet Polly, tell him that i don't have to listen to you because i was hamlet once and i was <laughs> like okay i'll do that so i'm sitting on a, i'm sitting at the table with with johnny and karen and Polly. and Polly's being, of course at this point he's being very serious and he's talking to us about all kinds of stuff and just out of the blue i go 
I don't have to listen to you. And Polly goes, okay. And I was like, I was Hamlet once. And then he knew immediately. He was like, oh, shit. He must have met Narvi, didn't you? I go, I go, he told me to say it. I didn't know what, I don't even know what the F it means. <laughs> well, your award-winning acting, not a, didn't it quite, you know, it just didn't, there wasn't a, it wasn't a sell. It wasn't you know, a you, No, you said it like you needed to take a dump. You were like, <laughs> And I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I just I was like, well, I was, I thought I, I was a little bit scared to say it to you because we hadn't met yet and I didn't know how you would take it. So, uh, but, but I, could, I figured, but Steve, I, I mean, come on, you could do you could do the splits as you were kicking someone. What did you possibly have to fear? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm also I'll tell guy. you what you're, you're you've just joined the cast of the most famous children's show in the world. Right. Fear is what you have to fear. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. it was it was a very deer in the headlights type of thing, you know, and uh, I, I just wanted to make sure that we got it right, you know. So uh, um, but anyway, but actually, you know, Polly and well, Narvi, for that matter, you guys were pretty instrumental in helping helping with that, you know, helping us get get familiar with all kinds of things, because for us, it was a completely on the job training. I had no experience in any of this kind of stuff at all and got thrown right into the deep end. For sure. Well, I mean, yeah. when you think about it, I mean, there's there's no, yes, there's all kinds of acting technique that you can study and all kinds of all that crap, but there is no boot camp like having to do something every single day, right? Yeah. You know, right. it's the whole concept that the Malcolm Gladwell thing of ten thousand hours. How do you get mm -hmm. your ten thousand hours? Mm -hmm. You know, some of our some of the best film actors at some point maybe never even took any acting classes and if they did they overtook the people that didn't get to do their craft on a day-to-day -to day-to-day -to -day basis right you know you you, you 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 earn your stripes very quickly when you do it that way you know and you guys were thrown in the deep end i mean you were only there for what 20 episodes before we went off to australia less than that yeah we filmed for about a month and a half so that probably comes out to about 20 episodes or something yeah in Power Rangers, a month and a half is 78 episodes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, 30 pretty much. seasons. Yes, we, yeah, we, you know? we knocked out two seasons in, uh, yeah, in a month <laughs> and a half. The fact that they called it a cluster was not lost on any of us. Like, yeah, wow. right. yeah. They're yeah. just every missing day. one word from that cluster. No, I swear, yeah. every time they were like, all right, when's the next cluster? Everyone's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Alex... So, so what we're talking about here is that Power Rangers, because we shot so much and there was no real term to, to put, like, how do you film four episodes at a time? So they decided we're just going to call them clusters. Yeah. A cluster of four episodes. Oh, got it. Right, right. Okay. Right. Cool. That's it. And, 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 and each day was dedicated to, like, so let's say in every episode, you know, there's a, a scene in the command center. There's a scene in the juice bar. There's a scene in the school. You know, and so every every each day was dedicated to working in that particular set only, you know, so we would have four or five costume changes because we we're essentially doing different episodes. So, right. The, the scripts were all over the place. We never could remember or know exactly what we were working on. So luckily we had these these little sides that they handed us uh, all the time, <laughs> which was helpful. Oh. But I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> I'm no, trying to educate people. It yeah. was like a quiz show. So, so the sides are these like weird little pamphlets of what you're shooting today, but they change this shit like ten minutes before you're shooting, and then mm -hmm. they hand you a new like little cheap little like little magazine little pamphlet, and you're like, wait a minute, I learned that speech, and now it's different. Okay, right. well, I'm like, all right, on your mark. <laughs> well, oh. although maybe <laughs> maybe they didn't change it that day; they changed it two weeks before. But since we didn't do a table read, the hell if we knew. Yeah, we and never had. Narvi, we never wait. I had burritos. Wait for it. Oh! <laughs> oh! I thought for sure that wig was going to go when he did that. I know, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now that oh, would have been... doesn't have anything under it. There's nothing yes, under it, so he's that fine. That would have been he's good fine. television. He's not going to have a Michael hair. Jackson moment. <laughs> I don't wear wig. <laughs> well, I thought your hair, your hair was going to go. <laughs> this is my hair. I love it. It kind of reminds me like one of those 90s uh, Busta Rhymes videos that he's in right now. You know when they used to use the fisheye for everything? <laughs> oh, my God. So, guys, I actually have some questions coming in from the uh, from the chat, if you don't mind me asking them real quickly. Yeah, because we're live on Twitch. We're not. live on Twitch. So Yeah, we're live on we got Twitch. got people chatting yes, with sir. us. Yeah. No, the first uh, two answers are no. No way. Okay, so <laughs> that just pretty much answers it right there. Um, they want to know... Um, 
if you guys have been working on any new projects and what was your best memory on the show those are two those are two questions yeah yeah that's what i said it was oh, two okay. questions that came in yeah <laughs> okay sorry no that's fine so whoever wants to start go ahead <laughs> so i've got a couple of projects i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about at least one of them because i'm waiting on a text from a buddy of mine <laughs> but i right. fi just finished a project with johnny young bosch um um a few months ago and i think fingers crossed i'm going to be seeing the first edit this weekend Ooh, uh, nice. but i can't talk about it yet because they don't give a... right right right, um, right. <laughs> well that's cool so you and johnny are collabing together so that's good we we are collabing we have been collabing i've got another show that i might be doing in february called the fallen we'll see how that goes it's a period yeah. piece that's kind of like stranger things which i'm pretty excited about um i also may COVID is screwing everything up although apparently in new york city you guys are going back to going back to work you're more than I welcome to have a, i have a house here man you're more than welcome to stay over and film anything you want in the city bro <laughs> his walls are away. green it's all good yeah oh there we go <laughs> and, and, and he'll be he's joining gone. you soon alex oh, is that what did you say Polly? i said his walls are already green man that the dude's not even real he's a projection <laughs> man <laughs> yeah if you see the if you see the background on Twitch, you're gonna see just the brick wall. That's our that's, that's why we got these green backgrounds. <laughs> that's imaginative. <laughs> yes. Oh, you should on. you should so put yourself in like a in in like a in like the Taj Mahal, Alex. We should, we could. I mean, we can anytime actually. But yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That <laughs> it's might closed. be closed. That... COVID. It's closed. No, you can't do true. anything, Alex. That's, that's oh, true. that is true. That's yeah. true. That's but true. but you're actually back to teaching though now, Narvi, aren't you? Yeah, so so I'm still at Concordia University, of Chicago. We're all online. It's really it's, weird. Everything's so, online. Um, everything's online. Although uh, as a theater department, and we do have students here, we're still trying to keep, continue to keep them learning. So yes, we are doing you know uh, virtual plays like this. Um, but I'm also trying to um, do film projects with them so we can socially distance and yeah. and film. I want my I kind of pivoted to I want my students to be able to continue to create in new mediums, and I want them to continue to learn to act. You know, so I've got like a 20 minute version of Shakespeare's measure for measure that we're going to we've got two versions of it that we're going to do. We're going to do a regular small film and we're thinking about doing a complete live stream of the thing in real time. Um, do it all in one shot. You know, that's if awesome. We can. Dude. It should oh, be pretty cool. Dude, that's rad. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So it is yeah. obviously it's a condensed version of measure for measure. Yeah, yeah. You take yeah. a two and a half hour play, you yeah. make it, you know, twenty minutes. <laughs> fewer, fewer fewer measures. measures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Fewer measures. Yeah. You know. Well, you know what? You're you're doing better than the acting that I'm doing at home, which is pretending that I like my house. <laughs> oh God. <Right. laughs> Everybody's stuck at home, man. It's crazy. Um, I, I have to say this too. I mean, the 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 the, the lens you have on there, Polly, and your hair, I can't see anything. Like, I, I see nothing. Yeah, like, I just, I, I see yellow and blue is what I see. And do a you little see bit the of a, big... Do, I see yellow see and blue the, and a Fu Manchu. Yeah, do you see the <laughs> do you see the big uh, plum in the middle, the slightly rosaceed knob? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. It's, it's very accentuated. <laughs> I love it. Go. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm just I'm I'm in awe. Like I said before, I'm just letting you two take over the show. This is pretty cool. They are saying that you look like a uh, uh, a Doc Brown um, mm. with your hair. You're not the your first, glasses. Alex. You're not the first to surrender there to show to Jason and I. But you know what? You should think of it as kind of like a break. Like you're getting paid ish. You know, eventually it's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, you, you're on a you, you're on a copy and credit kind of deal until you get your points later on. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, he knows the I, Twitch. I'm, I'm, he knows the Twitch verse. He knows it. <laughs> so I'm going to be in Johnny Young Bosch's next project. I play a bartender named Mom, and I put my thumbs in their soup, and then I'm done. I'm out. No, that was the last one. That was the last one. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so this is Steve Cardenas' story. I don't know if you told this one. And Steve, you, you know this story. We've told this one before. But it, it, since you talked about us taking over the show. So, yes, first, please. <laughs> since, since when we went to Australia to film the movie, that was Steve's first press. It's the first time he did any press. Yeah, and so that's on, right. on Christmas Eve, um, um, we had been all imbibing. And I don't know if you've ever seen an actor who's been imbibing. <laughs> imbibing like is that like break imbibing where you compete with people <laughs> that's exactly what this is Polly. yes we, we are going to imbibe on them 
<laughs> so what happened was we took over the show. It was a radio show and did the exact same thing that, that, that we're doing now. But Steve was with us. You know, and Steve's just kind of going with the flow. Okay. And they'll be like, so guys, tell me what about the fun things. We're like, well, we get to scroll around with Steve Cardenas. Then we make a bunch of fart jokes. Ah, ah ooh, hey, waggity, waggity, waggity. <laughs> and then they finally, they're like, hey, guys, I just want to take it down for a second. Let me ask you one question. Um, So, and we just go, hey, waggity, 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 waggity. <laughs> like, so what do you think about the violence on the show? Do you think that's a bad impression on children? <laughs> I, mean, I remember I said, this. <laughs> I remember Steve? this. <laughs> oh my they god just, they turn it right over to me and i'm like talk about deer in the headlights again i'm like uh okay now, uh, now listen if we're gonna tell the truth before that interview when we were all in the car on the way there you said that i am very nervous you guys can you please help me can you please help me you know so that i don't come off looking really bad and we were like dude don't worry we understand this is super stressful. We get it, dude. We're supporting <laughs> characters. We're never on screen. How do you think that feels? <laughs> so, 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 of course, we both went to the never bathroom. Never show Bulk and Skull your weakness. Exactly. We, we, when we both oh, went, we went to the bathroom before the interview, and we're like, okay, we're going to cover him for like five minutes, and then we're going to pounce on him like lions. So, so. We love you, but you were an easy mark, man. You you like went to sleep with your wallet hanging out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I I was like, yeah. I mean, I was like the the thing that I was dreading the most was that something like that would get would get put on me. And you guys were like Steve, and I was like, no. yeah. <laughs> but we did rescue <laughs> right after that. Though. Yeah, we did. We, did. Uh, we let him like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, we got you. <laughs> because that. That is, the, that is the one question when Power Rangers was out that we no there was no real answer. It, it's the only real question. Like, yeah. is this good for kids? Right. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the and the only the, the, the real answer that you want to say but you can't say is, well, it's the fucking parents' job, not our hey, fucking you job. You can't use the F word. The French don't appreciate it. <laughs> the French. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about a little place called Aspen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, because it's like, you know, the answer is, well, look, you know, we're, we're just a show, you know what I mean? We, we are in every other aspect of the show, we try to tell them that we're not advocating violence, but it's up to the parents not to, to keep their kids from kicking the lamps over and hitting their brother and sister. We don't want to tell know? them that because what the parents really should have done is turned it off, and we don't want them to do that. I mean, yeah. it's like, hey, yeah, you do can't you really win. think, you know, sugar frosted flakes are a good idea for kids? Yeah. Well, we believe the parents are responsible for a balance. Right. No! Give the kids the crack! Give them the crack! Well, you know what? I, I, I think there was a major breakdown in the conception of the show from the very, very beginning, which was, this is not a show for kids 3 to 11. It never yeah. was. The Sentai version never was a show for, the, for, right. for kids that young. Yeah, they, and, were, they and, were older. You know, come on. In in, in the original storyline, the Green Ranger wanted to kill his parents. Okay, so that's like yeah. a 13-year-old no, no, storyline. He did kill his parents. He Wait a minute! Parents. Please, please! Not now. Okay. 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 They were dead inside. <laughs> they were dead inside. <laughs> metaphorically, he killed them. But you know what? Dude. Honestly, I we have to own that violence issue because in those days, dozens of children were killed in play that was based on the Power Rangers franchise. And, really? and, and yes, absolutely. Worldwide, it happened. Oh, it happened. That's dude. not funny. Yeah. It's not funny. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. fair and, enough. And it's really, not funny. And, and it's about how do we, how do you make a show that's age appropriate? You know, because it's so flashy and so colorful, it's an instant, you know, attraction for younger children, right? Well, right. And I think, I, I think because the the show had a kind of innocence about it, which actually is wonderful. I mean, uh, you know, every superhero show now is is really dark which i yeah. which i don't like i mean we don't need yeah. another joker you know yeah. um but i think because it was so innocent at that time they thought well only little kids will look watch it i think that's the only thing i can i can conceive yeah. of you know i don't know you know what you're so wrong you're so wrong dude we could definitely use another joker the world can always <laughs> use another joker that's been proven let me introduce paul schreier <laughs> It got a little I'm from the thing future, going. asshole. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony Clifton. Tony Clifton. Wait, what's the name again? You know what? You're not wearing a mask. 
You're, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, you're right. I was just, okay, you're just a mask hole. That's all. <laughs> mask hole. Mask hole. Uh, love oh my it. God. This is crazy. By the way, shout out to everyone who's just coming in right now. We're hanging out with uh, Mr. Jason Narvi and, and Paul Shriver. I hope I said that right. Uh, Skull and Bulk is the way you guys are seeing them on screen right now. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty cool to have you guys on here together. I know you guys are longtime friends, and it looks like you haven't missed a beat. The people in the chat room are extremely happy. And Bulk, you you stream yourself, don't you? Bulk, listen to me. I mean, <laughs> Paul, <laughs> you 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 stream yourself, right? I'm He's reading the man. chat. I'm reading the chat like an asshole. Um, well, I generally I don't play the character of Bulk on my own because <laughs> that's illegal and weird as shit. You know, <laughs> and also all of the like cake shops are like, oh my god, close the doors! Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like that episode of of the Simpsons where the the elephant gets loose and the manager of the peanut factory is like, oh, this is it. Gentlemen, I have told you every day, two hours of drills, every morning that this day would come. And I'll tell you, all our drilling today pays off right here, right? And then the elephant comes in and stomps them through. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. showbiz. He's definitely cannot. Showbiz. Yeah, he definitely that's cannot awesome. prepare for Hurricane Pauly, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's that's perfect. Now, no. besides besides um throwing uh, Steve under the bus at a radio at a radio show, uh, do you guys have any like cool stories uh, on set that you've perhaps maybe played some some interesting things that a lot of people may not know about? I mean, <laughs> it's all up to you guys if you want to share these stories or whatnot. It doesn't have to be with Steve specifically, you know. But I think it'd be cool to sure, maybe I, share I, some. I got one for you. you. You're gonna love it. So so Steve, I'd like <laughs> you to take a look at Alex's that. chair. Okay. Alex's comfortable broadcasting chair. Yep. Now, the next time you're over at Alex's place, you should uh, go to the market and buy a fish. And when he's in the bathroom, use a razor okay. blade, cut the padding on the back of the chair open, and then insert the fish and just put a piece of duct tape over it. So in about four days, every time he sits down, he's going <laughs> to, he's going to, you know, something's going to be happening. <laughs> and he's going to wonder to himself, Man, I used to like fish. What's what's happening? <laughs> so no, that. no, we we don't have any funny stories for you, Alex. <laughs> but I do have about a seven thousand dollar roll of uh. Of, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> wasn't it ten thousand dollars five minutes ago? I used some of it, and I replaced the signature because it was really easy. <laughs> oh my! Inflation, God. deflation, deflation. At that point, yeah, this is insane. Oh Shout out to Mike uh, Rome as well on the chat. What's up, man? Welcome to the chat room. As so you can Mike, see, we're Mike here. Mike Rome, Mike Rome, our Rome? friend from Hi, WWE Mike. Monday Night Raw. What's up, hey, brother? Mike. Oh, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Mike. Yeah. Mike Rome. He was the Mike. one who hosted the 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 the, yeah. the charity yeah, thing yeah. that we did. Yeah, he's on the Mike. Mike. Oh, Mike. he's Mike. great. Mike. I, I I work on a lot of action figures in the real world, and I choked out Bill McKenna one time. Oh. Okay, I'm just kidding. I didn't, but I wanted to. A lot. That's crazy. Actually, <laughs> Polly, tell tell us about tell us about Gentle Giant. Um, can, well, can you talk about it at all? Gentle Giant. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I have I have been working with an amazing group of creators for a very long time. This year, it's seventeen years. Wow. And 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 I have worked with a rogues gallery of scum and villainy, <laughs> and uh, and and some of them still work with us. And, and I really, I, I, I enjoy the place and we've done amazing work and we continue to do it. Gentle Giant is alive, alive and working on fine art and a lot of consumer yeah. products for all of the toy companies that we all know and love. And sometimes we're behind the green curtain like Oz in a big wig and we're not yeah. about to say, hey, I made this. But right. a lot of times folks need fabrication help and, and we help them. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, and there's a lot of great artists. I mean, there's a roster of a thousand heroes that I've worked with sculpturally, um, artists that are so wonderful, and some of them I still work with today. I'm really psyched on it. In fact, the um, the uh, Power Ranger Hyper Force uh, Yellow Ranger helmet was modeled yeah. by Kevin, Kevin Garcia, who works at General Giant still. Although we've nice. been working remotely and no one's had to wear pants for a number of months <laughs> right <laughs> yeah, yeah although i, I am always... wearing pants right now i could demonstrate that but <laughs> it's very awkward we appreciate that <laughs> no worries <laughs> you gotta trust me homie you gotta trust me anyway i'm wearing space pants from the future and oh, yes. you don't really have to go to the bathroom in the future you just kind of nice imagine you're in a pool it's just everything it... so warm <laughs> Did you say imagine urine pool 
<laughs> you're in <laughs> oh! <laughs> And everything just tends to vaporize, right? Oh, oh my God. Man. Is this really oh, happening? I saw Hold that on. from I saw that on a movie. I saw that in a movie. Sorry, sorry. He really he really did say that, by the way. I really did say that. Sorry. Oh my god. Well, it's okay. at least you like paid homage and, and paid you know, you're gonna pay the money. You know, oh, the glasses are back, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys didn't know, uh, oh, yeah, Jason, so, and, and, Jason, yeah, go ahead, tell, tell him, Steve. No, so, uh, we before this, before the chat started, he put those on, and I was like, wait, where are those from? Why do they look familiar? And they're from a Comic Con that we did Liverpool. in Liverpool, and they're the John Lennon glasses, you know. So every they were giving away all those Long those John, John Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool John, John Lennon Liverpool, Liverpool glasses to everybody. Yeah, and, I didn't, yeah. And, and I didn't keep mine, and I'm so bummed about that. Well, you know, all, all the muggers in Liverpool, they just look for the they just look for the jackals wearing those like commemorative glasses. Like, they're like, Hi, I'm, are you I'm a Liverpool? <laughs> now, now I didn't need to be mugged in Liverpool. The pubs did a perfectly fine job on their own. <laughs> yeah, they did. Man, I miss those days, man. I miss oh, you mean days going, and... places? You mean like going places? Going places, yeah. <laughs> Leaving the house, seeing no. human beings, and yes. you know, having you know conviviality. Yeah. Oh, you, you know, that. you know what I've learned is that you can order a liver from Amazon. <laughs> And you can drop it in the pool, right? <laughs> well, you know, you just want to make sure the ice is good when it arrives. It's kind of like Hello Fresh. Oh my God, <laughs> that's to, hilarious! But, but is it like one of those IKEA livers that you have to install yourself? <laughs> you know what? Like, like sticks. You're on the your right side like... of the planet, but wrong country. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's unbelievable. I'm not going Man. there. So besides, yeah. so besides, so besides ordering livers from Amazon Prime, um, what else have you been? What what do you do, Paul? That's transition to keep, ever. To what keep, do you do to hey, keep yourself busy? Ever. Yeah, Alex wants to know. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> like, what is it that exactly that keeps you going? Uh, besides, and also, I think, and there I they think are. There it is. For there it is. Right there. That's what keeps him going. <laughs> hey, do you want to hear? You want to hear an Ivan news story? Yes, so we would love after that. We, after we worked with Paul Freeman on the Power Rangers movie, um, yeah. Paul asked me if I would like to be his docent at the American Repertory Theater in uh, in Harvard Yard in in, uh, in Boston. And that means docent means I carry the luggage. I like make the snacks. Basically, I'm like the I'm like a butler in a way. And I was like, oh my god, that is an amazing opportunity. Of course, I'll do it. And so I, and so I I went to work working for Paul Freeman. And on like the third night, we had a little wine. We're eating some pate, and he's such an amazing um, actor who I'm a huge fan of because of his work in Indiana Jones. Yes, primarily. And, uh, you know, as a young man, that was like one of my things, man. And and so I kind of said, what happened to you after Indy? And he exploded on me. He was like, Paul, I had a family and did 1,300 plays with the Royal Shakespeare Company. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hmm. So, <laughs> so, you know, when people ask us, what have you done for me lately? Right. Oh, we, we, you know what we say? We haven't choked a bitch. That's what we have done. <laughs> it's, it's funny that you said you saw him at um, Actors Repertory Theaters where you saw him, Polly. Oh, wow, there, man. There, there, there. He, Sorry. He transported. I'm checking my HelloFresh delivery. I need another <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. Oh, man. I remember when I was in college after we did the movie. It was a few years after that, and I saw. So I, I left the show to go to college. So I was, you know, li living like a monk for you know, 10 years while Polly was sending me, you know, $20 a week. Like my mom, thanks dad. I needed that. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know? Um, and I remember I, I was, I was in London the first time on a scholarship and I go into 100. a theater and lo and behold, the show, the name of the show, coincidentally enough, Polly was art. Mm. And I'm like, why do I recognize that guy? Why? The <laughs> and it was, it was, it was Ivan Ooze, wasn't it? It was Paulie. And so, like, afterwards, I, like, was kind of embarrassed to go see him, actually, because who the hell was I but a damn college student at that point, you know? And when we, when we finally <laughs> saw him years later, it's like, what are you talking about? We worked together. Why didn't you come back to say hi? <laughs> Listen, oh. I'm a butler now, Jason. I don't know you. I didn't know you buttled for him. I didn't, I didn't realize you buttled. 
Oh, so that's I so have weird. To, I have to fold the pate because, you know, nobody likes to see the gelatin, Jason. <laughs> okay, look, Paulie, we agreed we weren't going to be talking about livers anymore. <laughs> 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 oh man oh my oh, god Lord. some of this guys you, you had to be there you know what i mean Stevie, you're, yeah. you're, it's a little Stevie, esoteric you're, you're, a lot of the shit we're talking about right now <laughs> Stevie, you live in texas right now right yeah oh, i'm in texas for london. about for london about london now. for about a week now and then i will be in london yeah i'm moving to london so oh my god what part of london are you moving to uh uxbridge in west london the most expensive part Hey, Congratulations. if you're going to go, go big, I guess, right? Go big, right. Go Am I, are you going to leave your house open for us to come in and like make Crayola drawings on the walls? Oh, sure. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. You're all set, dude. The, the new it's an Airbnb. The, the, the new people that moved in there probably won't like it, but you're more than welcome to go. <laughs> Everybody likes a butler. Yeah. <laughs> Buttled. Buttled. Mostly. That is um, a verb. It is a verb. Yeah, Past you're tense. Right. Past tense. <laughs> Oh, man, this is crazy, man. This has been going by so fast, man. I know, it's nuts. You haven't answered a single damn question. No, it's okay. Ah. It's okay. Right, so uh, my name is Jason Narvey. Yeah. Um, Who N-A- gives a shit, man? R- We're just, like, having fun, you know? <laughs> Did we just start the show <laughs> over what again? Your name is. <laughs> no, 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 not who gives a shit what your name is. You said we haven't answered any questions, and I'm like, no. who gives a shit? We're just, yeah. <laughs> just letting everybody say whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. hey, you want to say hi to the people? Oh, yeah. Br- Hello. Let's go. Special guest. Hi. hi. Oh, wow. We have another guest here. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm getting a message from command. This is where the timeline goes horribly awry. <laughs> and there she goes. Lena! That's, <laughs> Lena. Hey, Uncle Paulie's calling you. Come here. Get in the Astro Mega Ship. <laughs> this is amazing. Look, there's Uncle Polly right there. Can you see him? Hi. Hi. Do you recognize him? Okay. He doesn't yeah. look like himself. Does it's he? the it's the nose, right, Lena? You can't mistake the nose, kind of like your dad. I say hi. Hey, hey what's wow. up? Hey, what's we up, got, Jack? We and got the Steve. whole Ranger crew here there's, now. There's Daddy's old friend, Steve. Yeah. Ladies and hi. gentlemen, hi. I would like to tell you um, that my character Alex? in Power Rangers Hyperforce is named hi, after I Jason's a, son, Jack. Oh, oh nice. really? Your character's yeah. name. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> yes, you know, in Hyperforce, you had to write your own story. They save so much money. Hey, yeah. Right, bye, guys. So, so can uh, it, maybe I'm um, just 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 for for some people's benefit, explain Hyperforce and what it is and 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 that kind of thing. If you don't mind, most people already know Hyperforce, of course, but um, I thought maybe you could explain it. Sure, sure, to, I can. Hi- to the Hyperforce, lay people, Hi- Hyperforce is a officially canonized, sanctioned season of Power Ranger, but one that was not live action in the traditional sense. It was shot as an online live role-playing game broadcast on Twitch by our friends at Hyper Rabbit and Hyper RPG. And um, we had a lot of Power Rangers actors on the show and went on for six long months. And Jason, thankfully, was never in it. And well, because that would have been really bad because (laughs) of the children that he he has, that he has to feed. Um, (laughs) Things are... Things are not looking good on the timeline, people. I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm is... afraid. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> he just. <laughs> this is. This oh my is God! Genius, he knocked them. He knocked himself out of the out of the picture. <laughs> oh my God! He literally. That is insane. Well, we might not get revisited by. Uh, Paul Schreier on that one, but that was quite incredible. Uh, and now it looks like Narvi's on a split screen right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix him up. I'll fix <laughs> That's him kind up. Of funny. <laughs> he's he's off to the side right now, but that was because oh, Paulie Paulie uh, Paulie took off. Well, just like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> That's how this interview went. And now 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 Narvi's Wait, now voice Narvi, is gone. Narvi now we don't Narvi hear you. Has no sound. <laughs> Did you disconnect your your snowball? Because we can't no hear sound, you. No sound, no sound, no sound. Yeah, we... Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Dude, it. Talk about cluster. <laughs> right? That was, that, was, that was pretty dope, not going to lie. I mean, Well, was... you know what? I mean, it's, pure, it's gold. You told it's me he was going to do that. You told oh, me that's so it. amazing. I wasn't even sure if he was going to be able to make it. I wasn't prepared I mean? for how he came in. <laughs> I think he was, you know. 
I just knew that, <laughs> that he was the last second. He said, he said, Hey, tell this joke, by the way, I'm going to come amazing. in. Amazing. That's amazing. Okay. That's, that's, so cool. that's great. That was really cool. I mean, the, the, the audience truly adored what you guys just did there. So yeah. uh, that was pretty dope. Both you know? Them. Yeah. yeah yeah so uh i don't know hey um, i don't know if you have any questions handy alex do you do you want to do some 90s trivia battle dude yeah i oh oh we're doing a trivia battle okay I would let me put on my intelligent glasses i would have oh, to yes, go put get them on, put them on hold on all right maybe, maybe take two two yeah. seconds to find some yeah, i can uh, go oh, in here he is some. smart he is a professor that phd is not hammered after all it's pretty hot diploma now wow <laughs> do i need a blazer yeah, let me this? look for some yeah. here are you guys, well, you guys talk it up. I figure Let me... we got five minutes left. Let's okay. let's see if we can battle. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then we lost him again. He ran off. But oh, he ran back. off. All right, hold on. Give me a second here while I look. They're not easy to come by sometimes because I already asked so many. Oh, look now. Ooh, oh, he's very dapper. He's very very dapper. British right there, actually. Oh, here we go. Here's some questions that are probably off colored, but we got to <laughs> ask them anyway. Well, let's give it a shot. All right. Um, here we go. Okay. So wait, wait. So wait. Uh, like he'll ask the question. Whoever says buzz first gets to answer. And if you get it right, you get the point. If you get it wrong, I get the chance to answer. And so on. So on. you get it right. Uh, uh, Are you guys right. ready? Quite, quite. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Uh, buzz. This, you, you won. You won the game. You won the game. You All right. Win. Here we go. What car? This is so bad. Buzz. What? What <laughs> car was OG Simpson in buzz. during his buzz. infamous? Oh, buzz. okay, Steve. <laughs> It was a Bronco, and white Bronco, to be in fact. Yeah, as yeah, a matter of fact, yeah. You got that one. So you're, you're... I, I would like to contest that. Technically speaking, it was a proto SUV, which is not a car. Right. Well, you're right. You're right. It's not a car. You're right. That's what so, it well, well, we'll call that one a wash. That was a practice question. Yeah, okay, that was next a question. All right, here we go. And this is from the very, very original Saved by the Bell, by the way. What was oh. the name of the series that preceded the very first Saved by the Bell? Yeah, I'll be right there. I have to leave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So, Good morning. That's an intelligent move right you, there. You say preceded? You mean like, like what came like on it before? It, it, was, it was like the time yeah. time slot before it. Yeah, it was Good Morning, Miss Bliss. No, I was working in the nineties. Oh I my sit god! Down and watch. watch TV and like eat bonbons. Hey, look, it's right. morning. Uh, what shall I do while I'm waiting for Monsieur Screech? Well, you well, these are pretty obscure. All yeah, right, sorry, what here, we got? Here we go. I'm gonna throw That's this one. Right. Keep it going. Keep it I'm going. Gonna throw this. Which move? This. Which movie became the very first one to gross one billion dollars? Go ahead. Titanic. That's two. Two for you. Look at that. No, I only have one so far because the other one. Oh, didn't the count. other one. Okay, the other one doesn't count. Just okay, one zero right now. Just one zero. Here we go. What was the What was the name of the beloved teacher on Boy Meets World? Buzz. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I think Polly has a buzz as well. <laughs> <laughs> it was it Miss Buzz. Was it Mr. Belding? Oh no, that was saved by the bell. Oh, ah! what, what did you say? What did you say? What? Oh, the Wonder Years. Oh, shit. Uh, Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World. Oh, God. Who knows? Show? Yeah. Yeah. You guys don't remember? You guys were. I just remember like Topanga. That. I remember Topanga from Boy Meets World. My God. I'm like my Uncle Maury. All right. Next All right. question. Woo. It's still 1 0, huh? This is a yeah, tough one. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. In which 90s movie did Colonel Nathan R. G. Sub say, Buzz. You can't handle. Go ahead. <laughs> Colonel Nathan R. Jessup, you can't handle the wow. truth. And a few good men. There we go, two zero. Man, you are. Okay, yeah, he. You know, he's, that was an improv. He's really oh. good. Oh yeah, I did know improv. that. Yes. yes. See, improv. and you would know about improvs. I would, you, but I don't you, get a point. You for can. That, do I? <laughs> you get a half point. You get a half point. This guy is the king of improv, so he would know about that. All right, course, next question. Yeah. Who sang the song "Closing Time"? Buzz. Buzz. Oh, I still got you, Buzz. Go ahead. I don't know. Did we say it at the same time? No, no, no you said you it okay. first. All right. Yeah. Okay. It, that's uh, semisonic. Yes. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. That's three. Wow. Look at you. Is that the game? That was the game. Uh, one more. What? One two more. more. Two, okay, more. Okay. two more. Two more. Two, two more. more. You got to give the chance to catch up. <laughs> All right. Uh, we never go political here, but I'm going to give this one here. What okay. did former... Who who did former President Bill Clinton defeat in 1996? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> he did defeat her, but not like that, Buzz. That would be Bob Dole. Bob Dole, yes. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy how good 
Steve is at this stuff. It's scary. Wait a minute. It's Steve scary. The show. You don't think it's a little skewed? It's not skewed. I'm not looking at the questions. I just told him to look them up right now. Yeah. I, I don't know what he's going to look up. I literally was just looking him up. <laughs> All um, right. No, that was pretty good. Come though. on. He's, like the, he's getting serious now. Getting serious. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Oh, man. I don't have anything else. Sorry. Oh, there, that's it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was it. I, I asked all of them, and it's and it's all right because it's the end of the show. It's nine p.m. We, so. we came to the oh, end my. anyway. We yeah. came to the end. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I, it was unfair of me to spring that on Narvi like that. I shouldn't have done that. But uh, anyway, oh, it was unfair of me to spring Paulie on you. So oh I mean, well, I oh. certainly wasn't expecting what we were expecting. I'm, what a treat, though, man. That was actually a pleasant surprise. That was really uh, dope for sure. Yeah. Uh, Narvi, man, dude, I love you, by the way, just so you know, dude, even though you, you, even though you took my clothes from that hot tub and I had to get kicked out of my hotel for walking through it naked, but yes, uh, all is forgiven. Oh my goodness. I had a, you get for I had a, I had a go-go boot covering my junk, dog. (laughs) Whoa, whoa, whoa. For the record. You also had a go-go boot covering your crack. Well, yeah, I, I did have two oh, go-go boots. I mean, boots, come yeah. on, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, thank you. You, you spared me because <laughs> nobody wanted to see that was going on back there. You know, that's hilarious. Uh, it was, uh, it was pretty crazy. Um, but uh, so those are the time, things. Man. Those are the things, right? Those are the things yeah. that you remember and you laugh about all the well, ha- I, all the hard times that we too. had on set and the long hours and stuff. You know, it, that's the We've stuff we don't sit and remember. No, not at all. And I got to tell you, like, I was never so happy as to reconnect with Steve when the show was over. He was in Philly. I was in Pennsylvania as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so we had a mutual friend. Um, and then when, when he and I finally reconnected at the first Morphicon and he got to meet my wife, you know, it was a big deal. Nice. To this day, I'm not kidding you. My, my wife thinks thinks very highly of Steve. You know, um, and thank you. Yeah. So do I, obviously because I do too. But, you know, when you get the blessing of your wife, it was like, your friend is freaking awesome. He is. Oh, top that's uh, that's awesome, and, man. And so, so I obviously well, would tend to agree. So well, yeah, definitely. Know. Please tell her. I said, oh yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. And uh, you know, I again, you know, I always hit up my friends short notice, and I'm like, hey, would you come on my podcast? And uh, he graciously did it, man. We really appreciate it, brother. And um, anyway, what? Tell everybody where they can follow you. All that stuff, you know. Oh, uh, uh, you so can find keep me. In touch. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Narvi Jason. I'm on Facebook. As Jason Narvi and Jason A Narvi, and that's I think that's about it. I don't think I have any other social media accounts. You're better off. Oh, and Jason Dash Narvi dot com. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. okay, very All right. good. Everybody loved the show, by the way. So, uh, and on behalf of myself and, and Dude, everyone Alex, here on the meet you, man. on the chat, yeah, I mean, you know, once we get off of here, we'll talk on the uh, on the other Google machine thingy, hey, yeah, guys, whatever this thing works. Thanks for validating us and spending a little bit of time to come to see us. So we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Twitchverse. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Twitchverse. So uh, everybody, may the power protect you and stay safe out there.